Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crate here on Past Caesar Skin. Now, this one's a little bit special. Um, something that I had not thought would happen whenever I decided to actually quit these Loot Crates videos. That I, I I didn't, I wasn't seeing like an increase in people that were watching, but there, obviously there's been people who've been watching every single one as the years gone by, and uh, I might have upset them by saying I wasn't going to do any more. So, one of my fans, <laughs> thank you very much for actually being a fan, uh, sent me this. It's a derm crate. It's a personalized loot crate just for me. So uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. I hope it's not embarrassing. You know, that's that's uh, that that'd be the thing that would actually be like upsetting if it was actually something that was actually really embarrassing to take a look at. So hopefully it's not like childhood photographs or something, or somebody's like found information about me. So let's take a look inside. Oh, oh, okay. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is actually, uh, obviously the, the blue crits I've actually been going through every single month. I actually do the uh, the folder that has absolutely everything inside it, all the bits and pieces that are inside the crate. And uh, all, every card has to have one of those. So you can see <laughs> the kind of things that are actually on this crate are all listed out here. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to look at this in a wee while. <laughs> I'm going to actually uh, look at this in a second, but I'll, I'll look at the items in the crate because this obviously lists everything out, so I'll do it afterwards just to see what descriptions are on for it. So let's see what's inside the crate. I'm just going to randomly reach in. I saw that. I saw one of the things that was sitting right at the top of the list, and motherfucker, <laughs> you know me too well. Fucking socks. <laughs> Goddamn socks. <laughs> you know what the bitter irony is? I think I own these socks. These socks are redundant. <laughs> These are unredundant socks. I mean, very cool. Like the fact that Star Trek, uh, the Star Trek, Star Wars, and the fact that Star Wars and it's my favorite Wookiee. But uh, socks, fuck off. <laughs> let's, let's move on very, very quickly. Um, it's like it's nice to actually have like a little reminder. Oh no, are you serious? <laughs> I think I've got a feeling that this is actually going to be a box of socks. Uh, this is a pile of ball socks right here. Um, nice. I actually like that. I like the design of those. That's actually Marvel ones. These are from... They look like the Marvel animated versions. Which, uh, like, I mean, from the new anim uh, Avengers Assembled series. Which is fair enough. Like, very animated Hulk. <laughs> Hulk and Captain America. Great combination of characters. Oh, um, hang on. Oh, yeah, because the top of the sock is actually Iron Man as well. So, like, the, the main three, big three. Because, uh, like, Falcon and who else will be in there? Black Panther. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, socks. Socks. <laughs> Goodbye, socks. <laughs> We're moving on. Moving on very quickly from goddamn socks. So, what else have we got in here? Let's take another look. Oh, ah, this is actually useful. So, like, one of the things I always said about every single loot crate that I ran into uh, on these videos over the last 12 months, there was one that actually was, caught my attention was the uh, power bank or USB adapter kind of power bank that was a, it was a chainsaw for, like, from Ash and the, Ash vs. Evil Dead. And it was, it was a power bank. Power banks are damn useful little things. Everybody should have one of these in their possession. But it was unwieldy. <laughs> like, it had a chainsaw head on the end of it. That made no sense because... You couldn't carry that around your bag, and you're just like, oh, I need to charge my phone, hang on a second, pull out a wee small mini chainsaw. But, um, yeah, obviously, the, the pri cries and cheers have been listened to, because a uh, simple power bank, well, it's two hours available of charge of running things, uh, works for e-cigs, tablet PCs, other digital products, satellite navigation, and all the sort, and connects via USB. And comes in a multiple tube of colors, the, how delightful. Uh, oh, alright, so it's actually, what? 1.2, uh, 1, uh, 1, 1,200 milliamp hours over one amp, which is, uh, they, um, most of the ones that I buy are, but they're much stronger than that, but this is enough to do a full charge on a phone in airplane mode so that you actually get a full, you could get a full half day's charge or a full day's charge. I don't want these to keep yourself rolling if you had it fully charged beforehand, which is a great, these things, you know, I, I, battery technology has not moved forward at all for us. We're still in a situation where battery technology is limiting our capability to go places while still maintaining connection. So uh, yeah, always useful to have one of these and uh, rechargeable batteries are kind of useful for whenever I'm using them with cameras, especially GoPros. Uh, GoPros and GoPro clones tend to run off, can be run off these uh, much more capably than their own internal battery because their internal batteries will heat up and cause the camera to actually have more issues and fluctuations. Use an external battery like this, you remove the heat source from the camera and they can run for much, much longer. I've, I've run a Yi cam for like, was it five and a half hours on a time lapse and it looked gorgeous and it was actually absolutely fine. And it was like, 
uh, time lapse where it was going like every half second. So it was like it was fairly tightly shot together. But it battery on it ran perfectly fine the entire time. Uh, yeah, so useful, very very useful object. Let's take a wee look in here, reach in and grab another thing. All right, well, oh, I need to get someone that actually kind of lifts out easily enough. So what have we got here? <laughs> nice. Oh dear, it appears that I've actually been turned into a rabbit. It's not very pleasant. Oh my. The uh, Bane Labbit. I'm doing Bane from Dark Knight Rises, but <laughs> it still works. I like the fact that the, the Labbit actually has its own, like, a dumbbell or, like, a, tr a tube that can plug into its mouth. It's a bit weird. Like, it does actually have a wee hole for it as well. Is that actually... I don't know if that... Because it's my, the whole, like, Venom suit is actually on the back of it. So it's, like, just a dumbbell. It's like, I can lift this with my goddamn mouth. <laughs> So there's a, a series of these Labbit. You have Batman, Cyborg, DC Comics, Red Hood, Superman, and Green Lantern. That is an odd, odd set of characters to have. The Bane Labbit has rage issues, juiced up on Venom and with an, intel in, with an intellect turned to Labyrinth... Labby... Okay, excuse me. Bane Labbit has rage issues, juiced up on Venom and with an intellect turned to Labbity Mayhem. This Batman-breaking baddie is as ornery as he wants to be. <laughs> Fair enough. That's pretty cool. It's a very odd choice to go with DC Comics Red Hood and well, I suppose Cyborg, but that's it's kind of cool that they actually have characters that are like the Labbits are beaten up and injured, so they actually are battle damage characters as well. It's such a weird combination. I I don't know much about Labbits, but I want to know more about them. So it's from Kid Robot, sponsored by DC Comics. That is an odd, odd combination. Why Lab Rabbits? I do not dislike this. I wish to know more. Please sign me up to your newsletter. <laughs> okay, uh, what else we got in here? I, I, I like good figs. Good figs are always fun. So we're reaching in here. All right, we're going to grab some. Uh, pull it out. Okay, what is this? Nickelodeon themed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows L Pseudo Lego Kit of some sort. Oh, Mega Blocks. All right, so it's a Mega Blocks. Lego kit from Pirate Michelangelo. <laughs> okay. Look at this. So, like, this reminds me of the really old uh, turtle figures. Like, every turtle figure, they're like every turtle figure possibility under the sun. It was like Aqua Attack Turtles, where they wear scuba gear. I was like, they're fucking turtles. Why would you give them scuba gear? <laughs> this is like they're going to fight up against their frog brethren, so they need that extra bit of lung capacity. Um, yeah. Think you Ninja Turtles, big fan of the series whenever I was growing up. A little Out of the Shadows and the design of the Out of the Shadows characters. Not quite so much. I'm not a huge fan of those. But uh, Mikey. Gotta love Mikey. So weird, actually. just Because I see in like, this molded figure that actually has that, that the turtle snout, the two double pins ones, rather than you know, like the old cartoon where they actually had like a nub for a nose kind of thing. But uh, I like I like Mega Blocks. They make good use. And like, they, they do tend to make really nice figures. Just looking here in the back. What ones is there? Uh, you can collect them all. You can see Mikey... Pirate Mikey, Leonardo, Donatello, uh, Biker Raphael, I think, Casey Jones with a hockey stick that looks like a dildo, um, a guy in a motorcycle helmet, and a, probably a foot ninja robot, maybe? Well, yep, they always have a miniseries. Cool. More minifigs. Nice. All right, let's see what else is in here. Um, reaching down, pulling on out. Oh, Wow! Oh my god! It's a little Yarny! Have you. Uh, 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 I don't know if you guys know, but have any of you guys played Unraveled? Oh man, that's. That's adorable! Oh, that's really sweet! Oh man, that, they, these are handmade. So, uh, there was a video game out on the PlayStation Network and on PC and on other ones called Unraveled, and it is an emotional tale. It is a saddening thing to watch. It's actually like a. It's kind of weird. Uh, the, the basic premise of it is, is a little old lady uh, heads up to her bed and a yarn ball falls out of her basket and as it falls to the ground, this little dude comes out of the yarn basket and comes to life and he actually comes on a wee mini adventure where he has to find... What he, what he finds seems to be like a book full of her memories and fractured photographs and I don't know... I, I haven't finished the game. I have to sit down and play through that. Actually, that's one of the games to go back and play. Is, is this essentially a command to go and play more Unraveled? Is that what is that what this is? I just figured out what this crate is. This crate is actually like a codex of what the things my fans actually want. 
Fair play. Fair play to you. Um, yeah, the Yarny figure. Uh, Sitchi, he runs around and he finds little broken photographs and images and fragments of the old lady's memory and uh, returns them back to the photo album so that she can un- unlock more levels and then you can actually like progress further on in the story. And it, it's, oh, it's sad. It's so sad. It's a, it's one of those things, like it's little happy memories of either childhood or of her own children or her grandchildren. And yeah, man, like this dude, this dude's a little hero. Oh, uh, I don't escape! Ah, he's trying to skip. He's going up on the shelf. I want me Yarny. That's cool. I like that. I love the eyes. Eyes are really well done, actually. So essentially, it's like um, the wire underneath this that you end up actually can bend and pose up, so you can actually give him little strike key poses and stuff. So I'll find a way to get him up onto that shelf. He'll he'll be sure. Wait, I'm looking around the studio and I'm going like, there's a spot. I know exactly where this guy's going to go. That's awesome. You stay there, chap. You chill out for there for the rest of the show. So, uh, what else we got in here? <laughs> Let's reach back in again. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right. One of the things I miss intensely from the early loot anime crates I used to get was the sweets. Uh, the, the first one or two <laughs> crates had sweets in them. And I'm pretty sure it was part and parcel of the surveys that they ended up getting everybody to do was to essentially say, oh, I don't like those that much. I don't like the taste of that, so I don't want it anymore. So they stopped giving weird and interesting Asian sweets inside the crates. And I hated that. I thought it's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Like, always put like one weird thing in the crates. But try not to make it something that's going to bust and get smelly over everything else in the crate. But get get some cool sweets. Get some gum. Get some haichu. There's one month that I got haichu, and I was like, oh, yes! I haven't had one of these since I was actually in Japan, which was a lie because I'd gone to a con a few weeks previous, I think it was a few weeks previous, or it might have been a few weeks afterwards, that I actually went and bought like five packets of high chews and shared them with my girlfriend because they're they're so chewy, so tasty. They're like chewits mixed in with frutella, mixed in with bubble 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 gum. You know, like that for that consistency. They just don't go away. But uh, yeah, smarties. I feel like a smarty. I'm uh, going to probably munch through all these. <laughs> no, can't beat that. Good chocolate. Candy chill. Um, I'm gonna go over here so I don't actually make that much noise. Um, so, take an army look in here. Here we go. Oh, oh, very cool. Mm. Well, tis the season. The Cadbury's cream egg, a true classic. I am a creature of habit. I will buy a lot of eggs over Halloween or over the Easter holidays, especially like after Easter. I know these like, go down in price a little bit. But I'll stuff them in the freezer and munch them whenever I feel like it. Cream eggs. Personally, I can't eat these anymore. There's <laughs> like that, that much sugar in these motherfucking things that, that makes me feel physically ill. Like I could eat half of one of these and then have to give it to somebody else. And that's kind of disgusting because these are like a one person thing. Like cream eggs are not really something that you share. The only way you share them is actually you touch somebody after you've eaten it. And then that generally kind of shares <laughs> at least some of the texture with them. But um, check this out. Let's see if we can get a better view of it actually on the camera. Ooh, ooh, I need to get this closer. It's a little Buddha figure. Little happy Buddha. You might notice um, the beads that I have on my wrists. Obviously, this person has paid attention to the beads that are on my wrists, but um, you can't really see them probably because they're ammonite. And then it's actually this uh, one's made by my girlfriend as well. It's like kind of cute little uh, bead lenses with like Buddha heads on it. But, uh, this is how I feel most of the time. This is how I want to feel. Content, rotund, and happy. But a uh, nice little depiction. I like that. That's a, 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 a little bit of calm in the middle of the crate. Of all the insanity that's actually in here, it's just a little bit of calm. I like it a little bit of calm. It's quite relaxing. So let's see what else is inside the crate. I mean, stay mellow now. I actually feel quite mellow. Oh, what is? <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to tell me, son? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me that I should shut my goddamn mouth sometimes? Well, that's not going to happen. That ain't going to happen with anything on this channel. So what are these? So throwback, everlasting gobstoppers, jawbreakers that change colors and flavors. Okay. I'm just going to look through this because I'm pretty sure these must have come. Yeah, these these must be American jaw ones because essentially you can see, look at them. Uh, best before date. Mm, uh, that's <laughs> best before date for jaw, jawbreakers or gobstoppers. They, they, that that's that, that's just a guideline. That's just a guideline. Like some point in the future, these might actually start to be bad for you. Well, not actually, might not be. It might stop being bad for you, but actually, might be fatal. 
Um, Sugar-coated jawbreaker candy, naturally flavoured. I'm sure it's natural. So yes, with uh, E20, E296, E470A, E903, E133, E132, E129, E102, and of course our personal favourite, Sunset Yellow, E110. <laughs> It's the same color as the goddamn box. <laughs> but yeah, um, and I got job stoppers. Um, but I will not be actually having them here live on the air because I have lots to say. You cannot stop me. Don't even think to. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in the crate here. I think we're reaching the bottom. This is, a, this, this is actually an epic crate. This crate is more epic than any of the crates I've actually received from Loot Crate for a long time. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh... Avengers Assemble. Another Avengers item, but a uh, utilitarian in its use. Um, a phone cover. <laughs> Avengers phone cover. I do I have do, does my phone fit this? <laughs> nope. Nope, it does not. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't seem to do so in any way, shape, or form. But um I know somebody who is going to absolutely love this uh, if I get it to them, so yeah, thank you very much. That's a, that's a really nice gift. Obviously, like, I mean, my phone's the size of the box, let alone the actual cases inside. But uh, yeah, I know somebody exactly who will absolutely love this that are Avenger fans. But yeah, cool. like the case. That's kind of cool. So uh, make sure, double checking to make sure there's nothing left inside our derm crate. Oh, wait. Do we oh, we have one left. What's this? <laughs> All right. Um, you may have noticed. I am a little bit of a drinker. Not no, not live on the air or anything, but I, I used to do um, like a drunk a show. This is ages ago, and I probably deleted all most of the episodes of it. But there was Drunken Gamer or Drunken Rants I used to do here on the channel on occasion back in the day. But um, this is useful. It is a bottle opener key or a key fobby kind of like ring. That I, one thing is, I have. I have very masculine, masculine hands, so um, I do tell like I, I don't want to risk putting this on a finger just for it not to come off because uh, like on my index finger it's not going to fit like that is going to go that'll go past the knuckle and that ain't coming off until I like pry it off or like soap it off in some way shape or form. Um, but on my wee finger it's a little bit too loose, but it's perfectly functional. Uh, so essentially you just grab a bottle and just or and pop it off, rather than trying to use your teeth or anything else. I always carry a bottle opener on me. It's so useful to have. So um, I might throw it onto my keychain kind of thing. And it's like, if I could throw it on the finger, and just like, tsst, tsst, and like pop two or three of them, and then put it back on the keychain as I need it. So yeah, I would never actually be wearing this full time. But uh, I like that. I like that. I like how it, because it, look, it looks like just a normal silver ring. And then on the inside, it's actually got the bottle opener. That's kind of cute. That's a, <laughs> nice to have that. I'm glad I saw that at the bottom. Because I would have probably been, where the fuck is that? If I was actually looking at the list here at the end. So this is the Derm Crate. This has been the Derm Crate. Look at that. <laughs> nice, nicely made as well. All right. Let's take a look here. Uh, the Derm Crate, February 2017. Contains socks because we know just how much you love them. <laughs> Gobstoppers because eating sweeties should be the only reason you stop talking. Yarny Doll, handmade Derm Crate exclusive because we listen to what you say in your videos. <laughs> Ring bottle opener, because it's always good to be prepared for beer. Tiny Buddha, as a reminder to stop these five things. Trying to please everyone, fearing change, living in the past, putting yourself down, or overthinking. Phone cover, one which will probably not fit your phone, because there should always be something to give away in these crits. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Little treats, because we wanted to let you know that we appreciate you, look up to you, and love you. You're awesome, keep your head up, keep being creative, and most importantly, keep being you. Guys, that's awesome. Thank you. Thanks very much. And thank you very much for watching, anybody who's actually watching this channel. Uh, I really appreciate every single view, every single watcher that's come to the channel to watch stuff here. And I, that, that, that's, uh, that made my day to actually just kind of go through that with you guys. Uh, sometimes I feel like I don't make much effort. I don't not make, I make plenty of effort to make things. God, you don't understand. You don't understand. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Uh, Sometimes I actually put myself out of the way to make sure these crates and these videos and everything gets done for you guys uh, on the channel. And I really appreciate any communication you guys make back and forth. Thank you very much for sending that. Thank you very much for giving me some amazing little gifts and stuff that will actually stick around here on the channel and stick around with me for a long time. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed going through this fan crate, uh, tell me what you thought of the stuff that was actually in the fan crate underneath in the comments. And uh, maybe should I open a PO box if you want to? If anybody wants to try and do something like this again, I, I, I fear. I fear you, internet. I fear what you have in your heart sometimes because it's a dark and lonely place out there. But uh, I, to receive stuff like this is amazing. So thank you very much. Um, possibly, if you want to do that, tell me underneath and I might set it up and see if we can do that in the future. My, my dude, because I was going to stop doing the loot crates, I'm not, I'm, like, literally, as soon as they stop sending me those crates, I'm, I'm done with them. I'm not, there will not be another loot crate, but it's just the benefit, luckily, that I've actually had a couple sitting on the wayside that haven't been done yet. So they kind of fit in with me receiving this crate. So uh, until those are done, dusted, there will always, there will still be a place for this kind of thing. If, there's a, if people want to do like a mailbag Monday or something like that, or a mailbag day with stuff being sent in here for me to check out and talk about, that is always more than welcome. Just tell me that you want to do it. If you want to do it, then I'll make it happen. So yeah, I, I, I would like to do something like this once a month, just gather everything and not open it. And then kind of like, that also means that people can't send me deciduous stuff that'll go off within a week because it, it'll, it'll get open or I can start smelling it and I'll know to put it aside to get it out of the way. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been really, really fun. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and talk about all the things that you see here on the channel if you feel like it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up. <laughs> Still not used to this. Hit the subscribe button up here, and you'll actually be able to see every video as it comes up here on the channel. And, of course, hit the boxes all around for all the stuff that's here to be watched as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.